my name is Maureen Lamb. I'm the Language Department Chair, Academic Technology Coordinator, and Latin, Ancient Greek, and Mythology teacher at the Kingswood Oxford School in West Hartford, Connecticut. And today we are going to talk about advanced features of Quizlet search. We will talk about a number of different ways to search within Quizlet. First, we'll go over the most basic way to search in Quizlet. You go to the magnifying class in the upper right hand corner, click on it, and then put in your search term. I think for this one, let's try doing ancient Greece and see what comes up. So I will click on, I'll click enter, and then we will see what comes up for ancient Greece. First, let's look at the price. You can do all. Now you do only free sets. And this option would be if there were any premium content for ancient Greece. Let's go back to all. Next, we can look at different types of sets. Right now we are in flashcard sets, but we can also look to see if there are any study guides. Right now there are no study guides for ancient Greece, but that doesn't mean the material isn't coming. Next, we can see if there are any users that are called Ancient Greece, if that's what we're looking up. And it looks like we do have some users that say Greece if we were looking for a user that was Greece. Next, we can look by classes if there is a class called Ancient Greece. And it looks like there are several classes, in fact, that are called Ancient Greece that we can look at here. Let's go back to sets. We can also look to see who created the sets and search by that. We could see if it was created by a Quizlet Plus user. Quizlet Plus users tend to be students or people who are studying for something. I find that some of my students are Quizlet Plus users because of the convenience of having the option to do it on their phone and to download sets. You can also search by teacher. This is how I often search for sets. In fact, there are some teachers whose users' names I look up so that I can follow their different Quizlet sets and copy them to my own. Speaking of which, let's, after we look to see if there are any verified creators who have done sets, and again, just because there isn't content now doesn't mean there won't be content in the future, let's take a look at how to copy a set to our library. Oh, right before we do, we can either search by most relevant or most recent. What are the most recently made sets? And so we have a recently made set here. I'm going to go back to most relevant. So let's say I wanted to copy this set. So I would copy this set to my library by clicking this button, which is customize. When I customize a set, I am in essence copying the set and then making it my own. So for example, this already has some pictures in it, but what I could do is I could add different text or I could add voice recording to it. It already has a picture, but I could delete it and add another one if I wanted to. If I wanted to add multiple choice options, I could. I could add highlighting if I thought that would be helpful. There are a lot of different options for this. And then when I press create, I can share this set and it will save to my sets. Now, when I go back to my homepage, there it is, Greek gods and goddesses. So just what we did. Next, let's talk about how to search by subject. So go to teaching remotely here from your homepage. Then when you get here, scroll down to the very bottom of the page. At the bottom on the left here, we have searching by subjects. Let's take a look at some of these subjects. This one is particularly great right now, be the change. I really like how this particular subject has different themes to look at. And so if you're looking at themes, then you can click on a theme. And not only does it have educational study sets, but it also has original articles that support those study sets and study sets such as these that correct false narratives. And it, I just think, all the different study sets underneath. So we have correct and false narratives, we have bias and racism, and then articles to support it. So I love the idea of having the study sets and then the articles that support those study sets. I think that's really valuable for creating lessons in the classroom. So that could be something that's very helpful. Now I'm a language teacher, so I'm gonna to go to languages. 
I am primarily a Latin teacher, so I am going to check out Latin. Within Latin, there are many subcategories. You can take a look at all of the categories here that are on the left. So we have a full list of, of different categories here, and we also have different bigger subcategories such as vocabulary, medical terminology, science, technology, and verbs. So if I'm looking for a particular study set and I don't want to use the search function because I want to look at something that's very specific, then I think it would be really helpful to look in here and see. I was looking the other day for looking for animals for Latin because we were talking about pets in Latin class. And so that was something that was really helpful. So I actually went to the subject area to look for this because I thought it might be a bit more specific and that was helpful. So you can look through it that way. And so this is really neat, again, if you're looking for something subject specific, if you're looking for something like generalized adjectives, that could be really helpful or something to review. Let's say I really like these cute cat adjectives. So again, I could click on this customize button, create my own, and when I go back to my homepage, it should be there, there it is, Latin adjectives. Next, we're going to talk about partners with Quizlet. So the web address for this is quizlet.com slash features slash partners. Now this is not premium content. This is free content, which is really nice. And so going through here, you can look at the different partners of Quizlet. So let's say you are looking for something on social emotional learning. You could see the different sets that might be helpful. And so it might be interesting to go through and see, hmm, is there one that I can use with my students? Is there one that would be helpful to go over with my students? And then while again, just like in subjects where um, it's content that's created for Quizlet, you can't you can't customize it here, just like we saw when we were looking at particular subjects, but you can add it. So let's say I really wanted my students in mythology to do this, or in this case, test. I would add it to test so that it, that would be added to test. I, but again, I can't customize it, but it's something that could be very useful. And you can see that there are several different categories here. So we have Wordly Wise, we have Publishers, we have the National Academy of Engineering, the Jane Goodall Institute, Oceana, the Coral Reef Alliance, Inspired Ed, Busu, and Collins. So we have a lot of different content and study guides that might be helpful. So again, when we were looking before for study guides, if we had been looking for the top 100 things to learn in Spanish, that would have come up under the study guides. So that's something to keep in mind. And again, all free and easy to share content. Finally, if we go to the bottom of the page here, we can see what the premium content is. This is paid content within Quizlet. So for this, you would pay for it in order to get access to it. So here you have this prep pack, and this is one that's near and dear to my heart because I was studying to be um, a certified trainer. And so we can take a look at what these prep packs look like. I imagine more will come eventually, but it's just interesting, you can have a diagnostic exam, they come with flashcards, um, and you can get little sneak peeks. I'm pretty sure I did the sneak peek for this one um, to see what was in included. And so it's really interesting and it's pretty much, it's a much cheaper option than getting this the textbook if you're looking to do any of these exams. So something to keep in mind if that's something that you're looking for. And also very convenient. You can test yourself on your phone rather than lugging around a textbook. So the convenience option is really great. So I just want to take one more look under other for subjects. I thought this was really interesting because these are different sets that aren't kind of the big subjects, but here you can talk about, you can do computer skills, hobbies, or sports. And hobbies in particular can be really fun if you're looking for trivia to do with your students. My students love trivia, and so if you wanna look for trivia options to use with your students, these are some review options you could do. And I would love to do this as a quiz live with my students, or as a warm up, or as a brain break with my students. Just find something that's either related to what we're doing in class or not related to give students a little break, just something fun to do. So those are the different search options for Quizlet.